Good day, aviators. This is Quentin J. Parker, your pilot. And I'm on the flight line of Randolph Air Force Base, finishing up pre-flight of the Boeing Saab T-7 Red Hawk by AOA Simulations. And once I finish removing all this ground equipment, I'm going to show you how to start this puppy up. The cockpit has a very simple layout, a lot less buttons and switches than I was expecting. If we go to the options menu, there are basically just 10 options, including external power, if that's the way you want to start up. It's a two-seat tandem configuration, and the controls of the rear seat match the front seat exactly, so it doesn't matter what position you start from. That said, we're going to start off the APU. Battery switch, avionics switch, nav lights, strobe lights. We're going to check our fuel quantity here. Come back to the left side. Flip the fuel switch on. Turn the APU to start. Flip the starter switch. Hold there for two or three seconds over here make sure that your engine's spooling up flip the generator switch to on and lastly close the cockpit that's it it's that simple matter of fact I'm going to show it to you again but we're going to go close up for some details okay battery avionics nav lights strobe lights check fuel quantity Turn on your fuel, turn the APU from off to start, and it'll snap to run. Engage the starter for two or three seconds. And when you're sure the engine's spooling up, engage the generator. Now close the canopy. And that is how you start the T-7A Red Hawk. Go 332nd Fighter Group. Go 99th Pursuit Squadron. Red Tails forever, baby. This has been your pilot, Quentin J. Parker. And I will catch you guys a little later. I'm out. Bye.